Now, probably not this. This one won't be a free team because this is Skaven with a wizard, which is about about as bad a matchup as you can get. <laughs> Skaven with a wizard. Hopefully, he hasn't got a natural one turner. He's got a natural one turner. No, he hasn't. He hasn't got the. He hasn't got the sprint. But still, movement ten. He hasn't got a claw palm. So if he'd had claw palm on this team, it'd be really bad. It's still bad, obviously. The wrestle strip isn't such a big deal because he's got show hands. But yeah, it's not good, is it? 14 players with a movement 10 guy and a uh, and a wizard is not happy days. At least he hasn't lost either. <laughs> he played 17 games and hasn't lost. So, there is that. Skaven are pretty good. I mean, just quietly. You can take you can take strong arm on your thrower and still never lose in seventeen games. Yeah. <laughs> Wizard he scummed a babe on top as well. Dirty dingo. Yeah, Skaven are pretty OP. Even with shit skills. I'm glad. I'm glad the Kers got these, and not the Bretts. The Bretts would, uh, the Bretts would probably lose. Yeah, optimal Skaven is disgusting. If this was optimal, fifteen hundred Skaven, it would be no chance at all. Oh, hello, Crystal Hunter. Why did you take strong arm? You absolute madman. <laughs> absolute madman. <laughs> Well, Mull, Mull, uh, Mull didn't, did he? Lost in the final when he got the, when he used Skaven. But then it was against Inari, and if, if I had beaten Inari, and like I should have done, um, then he would have beaten me in the final for sure. But uh, he was, and, and he also got his Tackle Pommer kill, didn't he, before he played Inari? And so he got pretty unlucky, I guess, in that regard. But Skaven just beat Bash teams, don't they? That's the fucking thing. That is the that is the problem. Is that the just bash teams just lose to Skaven. Jellog <laughs> Mom. Duncan Zod. Yeah, he's receiving. That's no, no, I'm receiving. He's kicking and going for the win, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's he's obviously putting the movement 10 on the bench. No, he's not. Shouldn't give him ideas. Right. <laughs> block shadowing movement. Imagine if he'd gone block sidestep movement. Might be able to murder him anyway. Got some mighty blow now. Got a pommer. You never know. Yeah, I feel like Skaven get blitz. There's definitely Skaven benefit from it. This, this is why when somebody said, what's the most OP team? I said Skaven. Not because I think they're really more, more OP than anyone else, but like all of the OP things in Blood Bowl benefit Skaven the most. Like Skaven get a Claw Pom. And Claw Pom's OP. And Skaven get... Um, movement they get like natural one turners and natural one turners are OP and then they benefit the most from wizards and wizards are OP and they benefit the most from uh, what's it called uh, pitch invasion and pitch invasion is OP <laughs> so yeah they're pretty they're pretty strong aren't they
But like you know, the thing is, like Woody's, Woody's just don't have claw palm. So while Woody's are overall win more than Skaven, they don't have claw palm, do they? And it's harder for them to get a natural one turner. So I wasn't saying that Skaven were better than Woody's. It was just my rationale for saying that they're the most overpowered. Jimmy. Doesn't have a mighty blow at least. At least that's something. Glorious. How fantastic is this LOL? <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much. I am help. Thanks for being sub for eight months. Wow. That is pretty glorious. TBH. Get him back, even though he's a rookie. Glorious. No, glorious. To resub with Prime. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I like the way the woman says that. Uh, thank you very much, Bleen Hippie, for the resub. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for staying fantastic. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Not fantastic playing against uh, Skaven with a wizard, though. But never mind. Yeah, it was mega disgusting because after the first game, if they get three cars, it's just guaranteed getting like dwarves just get random cars, don't they, on long beards, and then those long beards get the MVPs. So dwarves will get get guard spam really quickly. Yeah, flesh golems. Yeah, all things that don't pile on. Like obviously, the obvious one is Saurus because now, like lizardmen, because all of your MVPs are on Saurus, and also, they didn't really want to pile on anyway, so yeah. I'm sure the MVP rule is amazing. Yeah, I would. I, I'm. I'm. I would much rather. I, if I was him, I'd have taken sidestep. To be honest, just go blood step first, and then you can always take shadowing as the third one. Pretty good that he hasn't got mighty blow. Never mind mighty blow claw piling on, <laughs> which was the fear obviously when 1500, 1500 skaven. When you see fifteen hundred skaven, you're thinking claw palm natural one turner. At least you can't GFI, which if the weather stays, that'll be good for the one turn attempt, won't it? That's something as well. Yeah, it's amazing for lizards. Skinks don't get tackle pond. Saurus didn't pile on. And now Saurus don't get claw pond. Skinks don't get tackle pond. And uh, 
Soros didn't pile on, and, and now they get the targeted MVP. So, yeah, I think it's amazing for Lizard Man. One second. Hmm. I mean, it's a bit dangerous here, isn't it? Getting the fireball is a bit dangerous. Don't really want to fail and, and get the uh, mighty ball kill though. <laughs> But then on the other hand, passing and getting shoring up against the wizard would be good, wouldn't it? But then also getting him taken out by the wizard would be bad. I don't think he will wizard. And it's not super easy to get two dice on him either. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty scary. I mean, yeah, the wizard's always a, a concern, isn't it? The, wi the wizard is always a concern. So if he goes for it, he goes for it. At the end of the day. Fago, fago. <laughs> oh well. Shouldn't have sacked Spacey Fago. Should have. Okay. So it's not easy for him to get two days. Not that easy for him to get two dice, should I say. Yeah, I'd rather it was gone. <laughs> I'd rather it was used suboptimally. So if you can bait them to use it suboptimally, that's the best, isn't it? Um... 
It's not that easy to get two dice. He hasn't got. He hasn't got anyway. He's, he hasn't got them free. It's not that easy. To be fair, it's not that easy. He hasn't got. He hasn't got an easy two dice on the ball. Though. Now he does. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's good he's in the chat, and I didn't want to say that you. <laughs> um, four blood knights. You can't have. You can't have five knights. So. Um. You can't have six knights. You only get four knights. So. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to waste a skill on a leader. I would want to go four blood, and then like two guard blockers. And like three rerolls. You could, you could assist with the uh, you could assist with it and with a gutter and do that yeah, but I was just you know I I didn't want him to hit with the wrestle did I that was the thing I, I was thinking it was having to get two dice with the wrestle, and I think you would have wanted the not blitz with the guard. But. Luckily survived for a turn. I mean, obviously now, it might get messy now. Trying to do things. But. Fingers crossed. The birds, the birds have uh, been on BB Smart. The birds, the birds did pretty well. TBH. Top Brett's now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's fair that he commits um, with the basings now, but yeah, obviously if roll a few powers, it can be a disaster. Oh, we get the one dice power. I nearly made that dodge away as well. It would have shored up against the wizard here. That was a huge pow. Monumental pow. Motherfucker. can hit the uh, guy. Oh no, I can't get around. Could put him in there. I can just block the wrestle guy myself, I guess. Come on, fucking die. GFI, isn't it? GFI to hit him. Fuck. I guess he could just block him.
Well, got some knockdowns, I guess. Some stuns. <laughs> Not as rowdy as it could have been. I got those puppy up with ball streamers. <laughs> oh man. Getting, I don't know, equal. Equal 10 on the pitch, each side. Would really like to do uh, some kind of removal here, though. Be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Would have totally gone for the GFI if I'd had a, if it hadn't been a blizzard. The good thing about these all these stuns is hopefully next turn the ball will be safe, won't it? Fingers crossed. Due to Fagor never gets armor breaks with piling on most of the time. <laughs> All the guards are away from the ball, and that wasn't very good play of me. Of me, by me. Get dirty, play a foul. That uh, that could have run the next turn. It's not a bad, not a bad shout. If I can protect the ball and get a dirty play a foul on that gutter, that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? See you later, jelly jelly deals. At least all the guards together, so it means you can't really hit anybody there. Just gonna roll a bunch of dice to get the one D. By the looks of it, or maybe more dice and get two dice. Go on then, Shawnee. I'm rolling three pluses. This tackler getting abused. Oh, he's got Dormus, hasn't he? Has he? Probably. So it might be two dice. But it's two GFIs in the snow. Mix them both. And the Dauntless. Fuck off. Fucking Skaven, man. There's no need, is there? No need for Skaven. Just not. Oh, man! He's not failing any rolls! You can't beat Skaven when they don't make. when they don't fail rolls, can you? Holy shit. There's three here though, so we can make a make a good cage. Four, five, six, seven. And then I'd have to GFI.
three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I can't make the GFI. I can't afford to make the GFI. Right. The classic one in nine to lose the game against Skaven. Good. Like, I can't stop him getting a hit on the ball, really. Uphill with wrestle is probably as good as he can get. Or I can GFI and then he can't get it. But I just don't want to, I don't want to one in nine lose the game. Like, if I fail this GFI, I just lose, don't I? That's how bad it is. But then there's more chance of him, him hitting the wrestle, so fuck it. <laughs> there was more chance of him hitting the uphill wrestle. So. Freeze up a player, but then putting two on the guard is important, I think. <sighs> Fucking hell. Could dodge fouled him, yeah, well, that would have been pretty good, wouldn't it? But then that would have left the guard in contact. But yeah, that would have been dodge foul would have been a decent shot. Two assists with dirty player. Yeah, that would have been a good shot actually. Saw it too late. Well, I didn't see it. <laughs> Got told it too late. <laughs> Just uphill with wrestle isn't even bad odds. It's better than one in nine and get the ball, isn't it? It's like one in four to get the ball. You turn four no casualties in AP7. It's a joke, isn't it? It's a joke because he's, he's even based us up. I've got loads of knockdowns, loads of hits with mighty blow and claw and piling on. <laughs> Just nothing. <laughs> Just fucking nothing. Got the three dice is killer. It's killer. Three dice is one turner with tackle. Did you lose that game hard back? <laughs> Did get an ombre actually, he got a kill. Tell a lie. He's got a kill though. Twenty seven percent more. I can't believe he made two GFIs to hit the ball then as well. And the dodge out another GFI, he's rolling well. He didn't die. Unbelievable, Jeff. Okay, so I might be able to uh, do something here then, eh? Blitz the thrower, put a guy in there, block him, block him, 
and then make a cage over here. Fine. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. It's a double GFI, that's not good, is it? Block on him looks pretty shit. I've got a means I've got to block him to do it. It pushed him into contact with ease, and or it'd be a skull. At least now it's two players to hit him. <laughs> That's true, Last Frogman. Yeah. <laughs> well, Akron was. Um, there is a, there is the YouTube, on the YouTube there's a, there's a game with Fash where we, uh, explain some of it. I guess it would be better. Mike Davies did one about the rules and stuff. Uh, about the tabletop game of which it's based on, which is pretty good. Hello, Yuri Styles. Yeah, 1K always an improvement, yeah, definitely. Like he's only got two rerolls and he's made every GFI in the snow and every three plus dodge. Which is like, you know, obviously you expect them to make all their dodges with dodge. But um He did fail a dodge with dodge, actually didn't he? He did fail a three plus dodge with a sacker, but didn't get armor broken. Wasn't really that relevant. I'd really like one of these three plus dodges to at least cost him a reroll. <laughs> you know? It's a bit depressing. Just quietly.
Right, there's a there's a way through here, isn't there? Which is pretty easy. Which is just him blitzing. And then moving up and everyone running through the gap. And maybe blocking here to free up rather than blocking for more knockdowns. So see what happens with the blitz first. I've, I literally have to re-roll this. Okay. Fucking hell. About as bad as it could have gone, that. I guess I don't he doesn't have to go there. Cause if this is a push now it's safe, isn't it? So I could get the guards there. Not worth giving him a free player there. Ugh, pretty scary. I'd only ever get shadowing, never. <laughs> Yeah, it's just scary, isn't it? It's scary having to re-roll things. You know how it's scary having to re-roll the one in nine? And only got one re-roll left for two turns now. And he did give us that avenue, avenue forward. <laughs> it turns Shawnee stream into a fierce shit show. Yeah, bloodstep dive and tackle, yeah exactly. You could go bloodstep dive and tackle then shadowing. If like you wanted to, I guess. So what's that block si block side step dive and tackle shadowing? Yeah. You could take it then. I wouldn't take it first though. Just basing everyone. I mean you've gotta base everyone if you <laughs> if you just <laughs> you're just never gonna get cast at all. Or even even knock down half the time. Don't let's fail means it's a minus two. Interesting strategy. <laughs> reroll the Dauntless. You should never reroll the Dauntless, you'd only reroll the uh you should only reroll the hit. But there you go. There you go. I said there you go for a change. Rustles him. Can't really base the ball there because he'd get tackled. Mighty <laughs> blow tackled. <laughs> okay. So the blitz is here into making a cage somewhere. I'd like to do three dice. Well, the blitz could be around here and go further up there. He can block, and he, he, if this is a pow, he would free up two players, which would be really good, wouldn't it? And if it's a push, 
it becomes dodgy with clearing the ball. Could go this way, I guess. It's an option. Maybe he's a better option than here. Obviously, hitting the gutter is amazing. I think maybe going this way is the best, actually. I guess if this is a power, it frees both of them. Yeah. Movement six just as fast. That was a pretty good power. Don't get the foul, do I? Even though the dirty player's there. No, I guess I could just stand him up. But I think it'd be better to get him in here. And then block with him. Could just stand him up and then get the foul in. Plus one foul. But if he goes in, then he can block him and maybe kill him. And then two guards on there make it harder to crack that as well. Pow. Totally piling on, don't care that it frees up that guy. Got a pal on his piss movement. Fucking nothing. Not really Vulpies, no. Friendly Fago. Yeah, six into a six. Fucking hell. That's really annoying because obviously Kazing is movement 10 player. Would be pretty good, and now I gave him a f because I piled on. I gave him another player in the in the in the way, didn't I? I can go laterally one square though and still score, which is good. Dude, if I goes really, really fucking shit, isn't he? <laughs> I, don't know, I just copied them to be honest. I didn't think of good rewards, but um. No, no one's really gone for the coaching thing. And I'd do it with a good nation as well. I shouldn't really do a proper thing because I think people would do it. I've had some interest in it, but not not by just donating to Patreon, so... I don't know. Oh, God. I could have really done with fucking casting that guy. 
He's just going to blitz the claw. Or the tackle. Casting anyone would have been all right, wouldn't it? <sighs> yes, if he could ever fail a roll, yeah. Hasn't even had to reroll with these edgy three dodges. That's really fucking annoying. I could blitz him, and then it's just a dodge, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could blitz him, but can't, uh, you know, do anything else. Could blitz him. Could blitz him. And the only thing is blitzing him and then making the dodge. Three dice in from there. Push is good. Turn eight, so I guess I take the ball down, so I don't get knocked down. I'd be two and one, so can't risk it. Can go for a three D here. Outbashed by Skaven. It's official with those KO recoveries. I think I just have to backline it. I think I can't stop the one push that he needs. I don't think I can make it hard enough. Let's set up like, like I can. I've still got to do this. I, I've got to do it this way, haven't I? Warriors to, on the line to make it harder. Guards to make it harder.
so easy at one push. Maybe this should be tackle. Maybe put the tackle here. Even though it means he can blitz him, he's 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 gonna go for the fucking one turner, isn't he? Fuck it. Pom tackle vermin. One guard and one pile of is what a lot of people like in it. Shadowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheers, five. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, isn't it? Depends whether you go in short term or long term, isn't it? In the short term, guard would be better. But, um, long term, banning on. Well, I guess him never failing anything wasn't that bad now in the end, was it? Oh, you can just push him that way. So maybe I should have put the tackle here because then that would have made him push it this way where there was more guards but even then 4, 5, 6 he'd be 3, 4, 5, 6 7 after he pushed him so it wouldn't have really made any difference <laughs> yeah it did it did it, Fen did do Fen did do good one time didn't it when it made me GFI and then obviously <laughs> ate a re-roll on it It made me do. A, I did a stupid. I shouldn't. It, it really should have made me not make the block that I made because if I pushed it, it would have been a disaster. Third epic. Well done, Hippy. Dirty Dingo. Is this set up from a Knorr video on the Hot Doctor on Bosco? It should be from a Jimmy Fantastic video, but it isn't. I'll have to make the Jimmy Fantastic video eventually, won't I? Yeah, Dauntless or 1D, yeah. You'll go for the Dauntless. Blitz. <laughs> Alright, that's interesting, isn't it? I can three dice him and push him back one. That's pretty good. He can double GFI and catch the ball. Also good. I shouldn't have piled there, right? Now he's going to try and think about how to push the other one, isn't he? But it shouldn't. It should should be. He's gonna foul because he's got reserves. Yeah. 
So this was why maybe they shouldn't have piled there. Should have scored a turn on turn two like Inarian, shouldn't I? Hey! <laughs> Alright, pretty hard for him to get the pushes now. I shouldn't have piled on there. Yeah, turn nine would have been amazing, wouldn't it? He's somewhat protected, isn't it? Isn't he, to be fair? To be fair, he's somewhat protected from the foul. Catching the kickoff certainly is a good way to stop one turners. <laughs> you can only make an even foul here. Oh, you can foul the ball carrier. Oh, shit. Then this wouldn't have happened if I... <laughs> to protect the claw palm. <laughs> Got the ball carrier fouled. Shit. Hopefully we'll finally fail a 3 plus dodge. Wouldn't that be special? And to protect the claw bomb, I've got my ball carrier killed. Phew. Phew. Best foul goal. You don't kill best foul goal with a fucking three assist, four assist foul. That was a good foul he got, wasn't it? Oh. Hit million blocks to get piling on. Yeah, that's true, Pedro. That's true. He shouldn't really be scared of the piling on, should he? Right. I just can't let him hit the fucking tackle. I just cannot let him hit the tackle. He could hit the frenzy and he could hit the claw pong. Ain't gonna fucking do it. Ain't gonna do him any good, is it? Hitting the claw pong. <laughs> Got a guard as well, so I 
I guess by chopping these, it would make him a little bit more protected. No, it wouldn't. It'd make him more... This is a better guy for him, but if he wants to score, he wants to go down the sidelines, doesn't he? But then, fuck it. If he wants to go down the sidelines, he can go to the sidelines at some point anyway. So I reckon... Get these in. Yeah, tackle with mighty blow is different to tackle by itself, isn't it? Block tackle is horrible. Block tackle is absolute garbage. But block tackle mighty blow, he's got a claw as well for this game, hasn't he? And he's got four goals. So. Yeah. Yeah, I know I did J5, because unfortunately you've got to take tackle because it's weak and underpowered. That's the problem. You have to take tackle, because if you don't, <laughs> gutter runners shit on you, don't they? It's horrible. And at the time, obviously I really wanted to win every game. And, uh, you know, losing to losing down TV against Skaven is a, is a fucking way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Pedro Jack. Two dice this lad. Pile on, kill him. It's how it should work. It doesn't work on here. It worked on Fumble. That's the funniest thing. On Fumble, my Nurgle are just like seven cars every game. And then on here, it's like, can't do shit ever. This game's taking a while, isn't it? It does feel like that way sometimes, it doesn't make others. It does feel like that sometimes. I don't think it is, of course. I've rolled into the blitz! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's so random. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Base, base, base. Base, base, base. Go for a movement ten one just because why not? Not bad.
Yeah, the kickoff events have been brutal. But, you know, he's he's taken no cars and he's got the touchback and he's taken zero cars. Zero knockouts. I'm okay, two 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 knockouts recovered. Zero cars. Anybody would take zero cars in these turns against my team, I think. Yeah, obviously, if he'd, if he'd been the one that got the blitzers. Um, but then he's got Skaven, right? So it's a bit different. <laughs> he would have won if he'd got two blitzers. Well, no, the first blitz wouldn't have mattered. But the second blitz, he would just won. So, you know, that's it, isn't it? He would have just he would have just won if he had got the this blitz. Well, not not against a touchback, maybe, but still. If he'd got the kick in the end zone and it wasn't a touchback, he would have won with the blitz, hundred percent. But still one nil up now is pretty good, isn't it? Wow, does the one D dirty dingo? and then block him, fair enough. Ah, oh, hello guitar bot. I based with armor eight and got cast and KO'd just quietly. Man, he never fails three pluses. So you foul, I've got two blitzers. <laughs> the first one only relevant because it was Skaven. He doesn't like failing dice rolls, does he? Two three pluses to two dice the ball isn't even that bad. I'm not going to do it though because obviously I've got no chance. <laughs> At least my blocks back were absolutely fucking devastating.
<laughs> it's pretty daft. Although I got, although I got the the blitz to stop the one turn, he might not have scored the one turn anyway. But yeah, I'd like to have done some damage. Some damage before turn ten would have been all right, wouldn't it? <laughs> Relying on Dormus all the time, I guess it's fair enough, it's not that unlikely. Maybe I should have made the two three pluses to two dice the ball. But I just didn't have anyone there to recover anything, did I? No, of course, it just, it just bases, bases the claw pump with a guard, because why not? Why would you be remotely concerned by claw pump? When it hasn't done fuck all against the Skaven team. The birds are top birds, TLC. 7-1-0. Yeah, turn up. Strong arm is that bad. Because it's not guard. <laughs> Basically, that's the thing. The problem is opportunity cost. Like, as a skill, it's not, it's not as good as accurate. And people only take it to combine with accurate. You know, so if they take it before accurate, then it's just worse for more TV. But even then, the the big thing is the opportunity cost, for sure, because you've used a double roll on strong arm is just horrible, because it could have been, you know, something that affects the game sixteen turns, instead of instead of something that affects the game once maybe for thirty TV. Yeah, dodge. Yeah, dodge in the throw. Yeah. Dodge or guard, either one. But still, guard. I, you know, I, uh, if it was a, if it was an elf, I'd take guard. And that's what I was thinking. Is he going to throw it? He's going to chuck it with his uh, bosh. Two two GFIs to hit. Which in the snow is fucking too much, isn't it? Pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying the blizzard actually helped him a lot more than it helped me. Didn't really help me. Just let him play pretty loose with the ball. Okay. <laughs> Could foul him, but no. GFI at the end, I guess. Really want to see a pal here. Good lad. Hey. Only do is herb derp base base base, isn't it?
GSI, can't re-roll it. You can just block him, whatever happens. Can make two GFIs. To really shut down that two dicing of him. You can come and block him. I mean the player is just T2 dices him. So maybe double GFI to get guard in. One dice there. Double, double base then A. And one dice this guy. Couldn't stop him then without the power. Without the, without the power, I couldn't stop him blocking this guy free. No. Oh. Didn't get a knockdown. But he's got another chance anyway. <laughs> Still, that was pretty good though. That was a pretty good semi failure for him. Well, not actually, no, not, not relevant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good call, Mr. Yamandam, yeah. Yeah, it's a good call. Yeah, and just do the two plus dodge to get in. So it didn't even matter him not getting the push on the first block. <sighs> Tackler doesn't die. But still, if he scores here, this is six turns to score with a reroll. Maybe he's not going to stall. Maybe he's going to try and stall it. Why would you do that if you're not going to stall? I guess in case he fails the dodge. Oh, he's rolled a one. He failed something. Yes. Oh my god, he got injured. <laughs> Holy shit. Can't fail a three plus. <laughs> but um, but fails. Fails a, a one in thirty six instead. Glorious. Sure hands guy is there. Fowler is there. Three dice is here. Yeah, he didn't walk out himself and call up on crazy stuff. I guess I don't, don't pile anyway.
<sighs> Christ. Where do I go? One, two, three, four, five. Like here, oh, huge, huge cars, huge. No, that's pretty good. So now, here is the place to go. With the ball. I've got a foul here, haven't I now? I guess I don't have to foul, but I can't, uh, because I picked it up and moved it there, I can't put a guy there anymore. But still, failing one of these is still not as bad as getting sent off with him. Yeah, I shouldn't. You're right. I should have stayed there. That was because yeah, that would have been forcing him to go back or make more rolls to go forward. Yeah, that would have been better. Right. If we go here. It's got to be better, hasn't it? Because then the send off isn't so bad. Got a foul. <coughs> Done. Perfect. Whew. Shit. Yeah, I should have moved that other guy before the pickup. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh no. Fucking Skaven, man. I knew it was bad that I hadn't moved him first. I wouldn't have fouled then, though, if I'd done that. So he'd have still probably got in for a one dice. But still, it would have been harder. Fucking Skaven. Oh, he's failed. No. No. Fuck off. <sighs> Fucking just <laughs> just got an extra turn of stall out of it. And sucked a reroll. Fuck's sake. Yeah, but I should have blocked off and not done the foul. So that was a misplay at the end of the day. Got two gutters. Nice, oh, got the third on the bench. Two good gutter runners. Should still be possible, shouldn't it? One in thirty six fail just helped him. <laughs> Fucking Skaven. <laughs> yeah, the five plus knockdown was pretty lucky to be fair. But he could have made it nah, but then if he made it two dice then he couldn't have had the recovery. 
yeah, I guess he was a bit unlucky there. But still, if I'd moved the other guy, he just wouldn't have had that chance. And a three plus dodge to five plus. Mm. Only two re rolls. Might have to accept something bad here. Obviously, he's going for the ball. The ball for goal. Just gonna block directly forward to save. Save dice rolls. Pretty fucked if he gets a blitz, but what can you do? Hmm, put these here maybe. It's about as much as I can do against a blitz, I think. <sighs> Welcome to the stream, Laggy like Crooks. <laughs> Perfect kick, fuck off. Holy shit. I can't even afford, no, no, I can afford to use a reroll now, so. It could, it could lose the game. Get a few removals on the LOS. <laughs> sure, sure thing. Yeah, good to have, except I got a blitz, yeah, so. 12 blitz, that's good. Yeah, except in the dice log high squad skills, that's true. Is there four turns? Yeah, so one, two, three. So you can score without making GFIs. Just need to, and don't need to protect the ball too much. Now that the wizard's gone. Oh, brilliant. 
that's nice, isn't it? Take another Kaz. Thank you very much. I mean, to be fair, he has got a Claw Palmer, and I've only got rookie players, so it makes sense. Plus, he's got all armor nine. So, like, I shouldn't have expected to outbash him, really. He's going to base the ball here, here, isn't he? For sure. Classic ball basing. Double GFI in the snow. Quad quad GFI in the snow. Base with everybody. Oh, well, he's to re-roll there. Tackle doing something. Oh, is that is that right, Wolfbark? Is that how it, that doesn't show quad skulls then? <laughs> That's not showing it, is it at all? It's literally not showing it. It's hiding it. Time for two GFIs in the snow with no reroll. Or just one. Hey, he failed. Fucking outrageous. Fucking failed something. Let's get up over here. Block don't follow is the order of the day. Uh -huh, don't be able to follow. Brilliant. That was really annoying not getting a push there because obviously he was going to come out here and protect the ball completely. Now I guess he just has to dodge and if I fail, well, maybe he's re-roll it. He can still score, obviously. He can still blitz the ball and everything. Have to tackle him. No, oh, yeah, dreamt I dreamt I broke armor. Oh, thank God. Fucking hell. Getting banged on by Skaven is stupid, isn't it? But a couple of stuns might be alright there. It's just hard because the only numbers is he can just base everybody. It's just fucking stupid. Huh? <laughs> Banged on by fucking rats. Well, I guess did did get some people bit of reserves, so it didn't matter. Doesn't matter this half. He's still got eleven this half, hasn't he? Eleven versus nine this half.
Yeah, the, the stuns are the three stuns are good to move forward. To be fair, because this turn he, he only has eight players, doesn't he? So. That was really annoying. Not getting a push on that hit though. Now he's going to get the classic one dice pal. No, no, not a one dice pal. Could surf a gut runner here, depending on what happens. Imagine that making a surf. Holy shit. He rolled a one. Get in. Oh man, tackle doing work. Unbelievably. Could surf that. Could surf that gutter then. Um, I wouldn't even hate it. So could blitz him with a claw, so that it, at least if it's a pow, it fucks him. If it's a push, he surfs him. Ball comes round here, guard goes there. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? The only thing is, mm, means he gets hit if it goes wrong. She can fuck off. And then he can go there. He can go like here. Oh my god, powered him. Powered him and everything. Huge. I, I can officially stop complaining now, I think. Well, you can always just fucking one dice pop it, so... I'm not going to stop complaining till he, <laughs> till it's all. It's not. It's fucking stressful playing against Skaven because they've just always got a chance, haven't they? And that's the thing. It's. It's fucking annoying. Like obviously they don't even even if I'd caused five, got six cars. He still he could have still rolled that one dice on the ball and got it and passed it and scored and everything. I like blitzing with the claw, so that if he, uh, you know, if it was a double pow, <laughs> at least uh, at least he could get piled on. But yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Got quite far forward. Ball's pretty safe. The stripper isn't going to be a factor now. So, not that he was anyway, but he was still wrestle dauntless, wasn't he? The strip was never a fit thing.
I can't believe just how how effective the tackle has been this game. Like, to be fair, although, although his linemen never fail the dodge, his gut runners have rolled a lot of ones. So, can't complain about that. Well, I can, but be a bit of a dickhead. Just need to make it safe this turn, don't I? I don't have to get stupid far forward. Don't want to give him just a three plus dodge away with that lineman and stuff. <laughs> he really doesn't give a fuck about claw bomb, does he? <laughs> Good. Keep him sandwiched. This puts him in a great place. If it, if it had been a push, because <laughs> he can still hit the ball. The problem is getting people down to support and screen, which is going to be these two. So they're going to have to make making GFIs at the end of the day. On block. not a factor. Well, he can score still. <laughs> I'll push him there. At least I've got a guard. But maybe it's better to just not do anything. Then he can one dice him. Free him up. I would really want it to be a push, didn't it? I would power even would be better, but now you can put two guys on him. No, not really. Just whether to block here, isn't it, is the question. I think it's probably worth blocking here. Watching Ricky Cares play a game, yeah. That's one dice if I block him, that's the problem. I can go for it. I can re roll it if it if it was bad. Because getting the guard here makes it hard for him to blitz him anyway, doesn't it? And all he'd be achieving was beating the ball anyway. To be fair, the tackle's been a hell of a skill this game. The claw palm has done nothing. Literally nothing. The dirty player, I think, got a stunner or a KO. The guards haven't really done anything. <laughs> the show hands hasn't really done anything. But it made me a lot more confident, obviously, against the stripper. Movement 7 has been good. Oh, 
He's in a pickle, isn't he? Because if he double bases at the same side, they can get chained out. And if he alternate corner bases, they might blitz out. So. Hopefully he just fails the dodge and then it doesn't matter. Bastard. Got a blitz then, haven't I, with a ball? And then a pow means it's a touchdown. No, but if he does all these... <laughs> then I might still be able to chain him, though. That might help us. Could block him to there. Could put two guys in here. I don't have that many players. But if I did, could put two guys in here. Could block him to there. Two guys in here, block and chin. Yeah, so I could put two guys in here, block him, chain him to there. And then a guy in there, and then block and chain him to there. And then he could one dice or something. But I just don't have that many players. I just think it's a two dice here. And then a dodge if it's not a pal. Could block him to try and, try and free him up. Could push him back one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't see anything except the blitz from him. 75 percenter. Don't want to risk a two or even a three dice. I don't want to risk before. I guess I could do two dices to make it a three dice. But I want to be able to push him one and then dodge out two. Three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, could maybe make it a three dice. Huh? I'm getting now. No, I tried. Block him for fun. Right, so if it's a push, then it's a dodge out, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or do you reroll the block if it's not a pow? Because it's seventy five percent to get the pow, isn't it? Do you just reroll the blitz? No, nah, I couldn't have got the 3D, not after that push. Well, I can 3 dice this, uh, this gutter ball. Running out of time. I think I'll reroll the block. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. All right, it's a power anyway. Watch the clock, you dingus. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas Griff. <laughs> GG, Crystal Hunter. Wow, I tell you what, Crystal Hunter, those fucking Lyman dodges were annoying as fuck in GFIs, but 
Thank God the uh, the gut runners rolled a lot of ones to make up for it, and the crazy blitz to stop the one turner. That was huge. Oh, the Wolverine calls were amazing, just quietly. Yeah, first loss, wasn't it? Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty amazing record. I've not lost after 17 games. This team hadn't lost after 17. 24 AV breaks, miraculously, only making two cars. <laughs> that was also pretty annoying. Five kills, one injury inflicted from 75 blocks and 24 AV breaks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, at least there's at least there's that. Eh, forty-seven percent armor is actually probably as lucky. But it were just they were all stuns. But then I guess the stuns made uh, made made space and stuff. I mean, a lot of the stuns were good. To be fair, yeah, dodges were seventy-seven. That was that was with gutters failing eighty-threes more than eighty-three. And Lyman passing more than 66. <laughs> that was bizarre. Four out, of, four out of four pickles was huge. And that GFI in the snow was terrifying. The others, I guess, didn't matter too much. Yeah, to be fair, s stuns are, are good, aren't they? Like, you know, at the end of the day, there's that many stuns were good for winning the game. It's just frustrating because you want the fucking Skaven to not have players. That's what you fucking want, isn't it? That is what you want. <laughs> yeah, but then that was my fault for not moving. I could have stopped it by moving the other guy in, but then I wouldn't have been able to get the foul in. Um, and I wanted to be able to foul. <laughs> right, double for dodge. Come on, best for go. Oh man, movement eight. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, two heads is so good. But movement eight would be amazing, wouldn't it? He's probably just going to be a wrestle. Line beast with wrestle, probably. Steel Fagor. Um, Got to rebuy Spacey Fagor now, anyway. it would be unfair to not rebuy him after he got sacked without playing a game. The old getting rid of getting rid of bloat. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.